G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to try a split cup pour for you today. Um, I did it on, which one did I do it? can't remember. Um, oh yeah, my big black and white ring pour, that's right, where I poured black in one side, white in the other like that. I'm going to do a similar thing but with black and gold today. So for my pouring medium, I'm using just Floetrol and I've still got some of this Artist Loft paint left that I got from Michaels, um, brought it into Australia. Very difficult that it was, but I did it. Um, so I'm using the black and I've mixed that one and a half parts Floetrol to one part of this uh, flow acrylic and the gold are mixed one to one so one part flow troll and one part gold it seems to be a little bit thinner than the black and then I have got an extra black here that I've made up for my edges this is thinner this is two parts flow troll and one part of black paint so it leaves a very tiny little mold, um, mound there and this one <coughs> You can see, I don't know if you can see that, it leaves a mound. So that's for my actual pour. The gold also leaves a little mound on top. So those are for my pour. I don't know how much I'm going to need. So I just sort of made up a couple of cups of each. And I've got a jug just because it's easier for me to, to pour into. Now this holds 500 mils or two cups. So I really need it to be... <clears throat> a little bit over the two cups, probably about between five and six hundred grams I need. So I'll keep going until I've got that much. So I'm going to pour the black on that side, the gold on that side. And we'll just go for it. Bring it down a little bit closer to me. Try and keep the line in the center, that way I know I'm getting equal amounts of paint. So I think there's a few, a few people doing these sorts of things at the moment, these pours. I'm just calling mine a split cup because I've split my cup into two for the pouring. That's going to take pretty much all of this. Put a little bit more gold in. Just finish off with the gold. I'm going to flip it around so that I can get some colour on the other side. again. Just continue from the centre. So 
looks like I've got plenty of paint here anyway, which is good. Just going to get a little bit closer to the surface, make bigger circles. Oh dear, I think I touched the bottom of the jug in the paint. That'll have to be tipped off. You're so what, busy watching this that you don't watch the other end, eh? I think I've got plenty of paint there. I'm just going to put a little bit more in just to cover up some of this black here and then I'll stop. Okay. Still got some left. I can do another little pour. Hopefully it'll stay in its two little divisions there. Right, what will we do with this? Give it a bit of a torch, pop some bubbles. It's looking pretty, isn't it? It's almost a shame to have to tilt it. So let's go around in a circle first. Big circle. Probably got too much paint on here actually. See my edges there have covered already. Just going to bring it back to the middle so I can have a look at it. I'm liking this wispiness here, that's for sure. I'll pop a little bit of paint on my corners. So I don't really want to tilt that off. I really like that. So let's just finish that corner with some black. Pop a little bit more there as well. I'm going to do each of the corners. I probably do have too much paint on here actually because I haven't been able to really stretch it out. These lines here are pretty much all gold. I haven't stretched them out. You know what that means, don't you? <clears throat> Another one with less paint then I can stretch it a little bit more. I should have enough paint left in that jug to, to do another one. really like gold and black together, but as you know it can go quite muddy. That's why I thought I'd try this split cup and see if I can get a better result with that. And I seem to have achieved the, the look I want, you know, with not mud, which is great. <clears throat> can you guys see the rain? Rained all night. <clears throat> oh, still got a frog in my throat today. There's a cyclone up north, so it's not affecting us directly, <clears throat> but we are getting the tail end of it and a lot of rain. Um, <clears throat> you know what I might do? I might tilt off this half and bring this down and just keep this little bit of black here. I think that would look really pretty. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy, you don't have to have the same on each side. It's nice to have a little bit of difference, I think. So let's just take this down a little bit just to, open, to bring the gold down. And then I'm going to tip the side off. like so. How's that? Now that looks a bit odd. So it might take that off as well. So if I can just get the paint to go kind of 
Uh, maybe straight down. But I don't want to lose this, so we'll just go slow. There it goes. Off you go. Bye bye. Thanks for coming to play. But bye bye. All right. It has gone. Let's bring this gold back. All righty. Just there's a tiny little bit of it left. It just says, no, nah, I'm just going to hang around, play with you guys. <gasps> Love it. Bit different, something a little bit different, hey? Now, don't get carried away with your tilting. Once you've tilted and you're happy with it, just leave it. Because the more you tilt, the more muddy it's going to get and you're going to start losing your lines and they'll get all wobbly. So <clears throat> try not to over tilt. So there you go, happy with that one? Loving the gold and the black together. Really happy that it's not gone to mud. Alrighty, let's torch. <coughs> Just a pops of bubbles. You may get a few more little cells up because of the flow troll. Flow troll does that. And the artist loft paint is quite well known to create cells as well. So if I had put less paint on and stretched and stretched and stretched, I would have got a different look. I would have got more cells coming up. So I'll leave it at that. I've still got a half a, almost a half a cup there, or half a jug of paint. Um, I'm going to use it <coughs> now, and then I'll come back and show you the next one. But I'll just zoom in here. show you the, the gold and the black. Oops, that's better. A bit glary. All right, so that is it. Once it dries, it will be gorgeous. It's already looking gorgeous, but when it dries and it's nice and shiny, it will be even better. All right, I'll uh, put this away, grab a new card, and be right back. Bye for now.